Ooh, I was having the weirdest hair day this morning. I still don't know what I'm doing with it. Like what even, but whatever. What's up guys, it's Amber and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be answering my most asked question ever on social media, which is Amber, how do you edit your Instagram photos? So we're just gonna get right into it because there's lots to teach you guys today. So here we go, how Amber edits her Instagram photos, the masterclass. you guys ta-da this is my instagram um it's at amber shoal if you want to follow me um so here we go um this is what my feed looks like right now i think this is one of my favorites that it's ever looked like um i'm very into like the dark colors with the high contrast right now um i've had a lot of different themes um and i'll show you the importance of themes in a second but for now i'll just show you how i edit some of my pictures um because this is what i get the most questions on so people are always surprised when i say this but my favorite photo editing app is literally Instagram. Um, so I will just directly open my whatever photo I wanna post um, up in Instagram, something like the Eiffel Tower that I took. This is an absolutely fantastic photo in and of itself. But um, I will just, again, my go-to filter, Aiden. Oh, look at that. Then I'll just play around with all the things. The Lux actually looks fantastic on this. And then I will just hit done. It really takes two seconds to make your photo look fabulous really quick. Ta-da. Okay, here we go. Now, this is what I know you really want to know about. This is how I edit my selfies. Um, so, here we go. This is when a selfie that I took um, when I was in London this last few weeks. Um, so this is the original photo. I have a great camera, which is why the quality is so high on this. Um, but here is how the finished edited photo came out. So, you can see they look different, um, but it's mostly just in the lighting and the coloring. So, this is how I edited this um, to look like this. All right, so like I said, I have a folder on my phone literally dedicated to photo editing. Um, I only have a couple of apps. I don't really use that many. Um, but when I'm doing um, a selfie, my first thing that I do is I use Perfect 365, which is actually a really weird app. Like They literally have crazy makeup things they can do to your face um, just by clicking on a button, which is actually really fun, but it looks fake. Um, so I definitely don't recommend using this. Um, like. Okay, interesting, but it's kind of fun if you ever just like want to screw around. Um, it's kind of cool, but we never, never actually use those. So original, um, but I do use it for tools and I will use it to edit my skin. So if I want to soften the skin, like you can see, my skin is just like, you can see the little ruffles in it. I actually have pretty good skin, but um, I will soften the skin by just putting on the soften skin button and then I will amp that up. So you can see that just kind of removes all the little imperfections. Bam. There we go. Now I have soft, smooth, flawless skin. So um, I will just save that and continue along. All right. So like I said, I really like the Photoshop app. However, I really don't use it that much. Um, the only things I will use it for is when there's something specific I want to do. Like I will use it to flip the image sometimes. Like if I decide I like this picture, but I think I would rather like it like this, which I don't, but sometimes I do. Um, Photoshop is a great way you can flip the images. So that's fun. Anyways, um, what I really use it for though is this. I use it for to adjust the tint um, and the temperature of the photo because here you can see it's like very yellow kind of and I will use the tint which you can auto tint it but sometimes it doesn't work like right there it barely did anything um, but if you want to really adjust the coloration of the photo I will always use that like here you can see I'm making it way greener and here I will make it a little bit more of a cool tone. So when editing a selfie, that's literally all I will do. Then I will go over to Instagram um, and you can see, oh hi guys, hi. Um, so. Uh, when I want to edit the photo, I will usually do most of my editing in Instagram, which I know is super weird, but literally that is what I do. So here we go. Um, you can see my picture now is the softened skin version. Um, great. It's ready to go. So I'll just hit next. And then my go-to filter for every single picture, Aiden. Ta-da. Look at that. And that is basically all I do to it to make it look like that. Um, I do like to mess around with this sometimes because uh, ew, not for this picture though apparently yikes that's always a hit or miss i like that one but it depends um so i will also once i've put aiden on it um then i will go to the edit and then i'll just mess around with these because these are actually great and i feel like people don't really utilize them enough um the editing in instagram is actually awesome so i'll just just mess around with these i'll just test them all out see if i like the way it looks versus with it or without I do have like a weird OCD thing, so no matter what looks the best, I will always only set it to 13. 
because I'm crazy, so there we go. 13, okay, so done. So if I decide I like highlights, I will always set it to 13. Um, if I decide I like the saturation to be increased, I will always set it to 13, though clearly you would not do that here because that looks like poop. But, so that is how I will edit the picture. You can always see what it looks like before and then after just by clicking on it like that. Um, and if you want to see just the difference between one thing, like here we go, you can see the contrast if I screw with that. If you want to see just the effect of the contrast, you can click on it. So that's what it looks like without the contrast, or with the contrast, and that's what it looks like without it. So um, you can see the before and after with just that one effect, which is cool. But if you want to see the whole thing, obviously just go back to the regular setting and you can see before and after. Fabulous. And then of course, I will share it with you babes. Love you. That doesn't spell love you, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's exit that out so I don't accidentally post this. Also, you guys are always asking about my Instagram highlight, how I make it look so poppin'. Um, I have a tutorial on that. I wear a lot of highlight. This is not normal looking in real life. Like, it really looks crazy on a day-to-day -day basis. But in photos, it looks freaking awesome, uh, which is why I wear so much of it. But the way that I make it pop like this is I always take these photos with flash, so the light reflects off it really intensely, which is why it shines super bright in photos. So this isn't actually any editing technique. This is just me using a flash in the picture. So here we go, this is one of my most famously highlighted photos. Um, like I said, it's important like when you're taking pictures, if you want the um, colors to really look like this, is use the flash photography because natural light isn't gonna give you this. It's definitely an overexposed flash. Um, so you can see the highlight is popping right there and you can see it's there and you can see the really cool lens flare that happens when you take a flash on crystal. Um, however, the opposite of what you might think is when you are editing highlight to make it look more highlighty um, is you will still use the highlight um, effect. This is on Photoshop Express, by the way, and you will actually decrease the highlight to make it pop out more. So you can see it is um, decreasing everything. So it makes just these specific spots that are already really highlighted pop out. So you can see what it looks like before versus after. And that is how I get that extra highlighty glow. Ta-da! Bam! Bish, your highlight is popping. <laughs> All right, so another question I always get asked is how I make the backgrounds of all my pictures the same. Here you can see one of my most recent ones where I desaturated the background, and this is how I do that. There you go, you can see the original image. Now this is what I will use Snapseed for, um, is when I wanna change the color of the background. Like this whole picture is really cool, but I don't like this purple hue because it wouldn't match. So um, you can just take this little button right here and I will do, um, I don't really know what any of the rest of these do, I only know this. So I will hit selective and then it kind of just will draw a little dot and you can see it covers um, what the red, you can like move the size of it, whatever. So I will make it pretty big because I want it to be the whole wall here. Um, and then you can edit the contrast, the saturation or the brightness depending on what you scroll on. Now, I wanna do saturation because I obviously don't want it to be this purple color. So I want to delete the saturations. You can see now it's like gray. Um, and then you can just move multiple little dots until you get all of them to be the less saturated version. So once you have all of it, you can just hit yes. And then you can see the before with all of that um, purple tones. And then you can see the after with none of them. So that is how I will make all my backgrounds look similar. So uh, my Instagram has really evolved over the years. This was it back circa 2012, my first picture ever of a Greek salad. Um, and oh God, some really embarrassing selfies. Um, anyways, I should really delete these, but <laughs> I've never deleted a picture off my Instagram. So, you know, whatever, if you care to scroll back here, you can see some really quality imagery of a bunch of trash, apparently that I felt was important to post. So, um, so what is the importance of an Instagram um, aesthetic? Well, there really isn't one, unless you really care about this sort of thing. But if you wanna see um, what your, my feed looked like before, this is where it was just like a hodgepodge. I did not care about what it looked like cohesively together at all. I was just posting pictures as I wanted, which um, I mean, they're cute pictures, but they don't go together. As you can see, it just is like da 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 da. Like there's no relationship. It doesn't look like an art gallery, if you will. It just looks more like nothing. But anyways, um, so here you can see I started to care about an aesthetic um, probably I don't know, up towards here is where I started to kind of care a little bit. I was like, okay, so you can see I kind of did like similar color scheme here and it looks way better than it did before. Like this is a mess. And here you can see this is just kind of a little more cohesive, like all the colors go together, the pinks and the, the whites and it looks nice, but it's still not really that great. Um, then I got really into it and I've had like a coppery aesthetic where every single picture um, is the same color, which is, 
or I mean it's not exactly the same color but they all have the same scheme like you can see I have brown lips here I'm wearing brown here gold on my eyes brown on the um, flowers so that's one way to make a theme is to take pictures that are all similar colors however this took so much time and I got so sick of it so quick um, I end up having to change it all the time so this here you can see I switched it to blacks and reds but again this takes so much time and it's honestly just not worth it to me so now I've switched to what I do now um, which is up here which is I just take pictures that I like and then I edit them to make sure they look decent next to each other so is there really a theme going on here not really, but um, I still think they look really great. Like you can see these two pictures really go well together. Um, and then these three really go good together. So then you can see this one that just totally messed up my feed. But this is one of my favorite photos of all times. Thank you guys for following me. I love you. Um, so any hoozy, here we go. My number one tip for making a theme is use the same filter for every single photo because no matter what you take a picture of, it'll start to look cohesive. Um, so like this literally is Aiden. This is Aiden. This is Aiden. This is Aiden. This is Aiden. And guess what, guys? This is Aiden. So when you use the same filter, no matter what you're taking a picture of, it will all start of kind, all sort of start to kind of blend together and look like a more cohesive feed. Also, just random tip in general: flowers are stinking beautiful and add aesthetic to any feed. Like I love taking pictures of roses because they're just so pretty. They're my favorite flower in the first place, but um, they're just oh. They're so beautiful and they totally make any feed look great. Like, look at these. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And they just really like bring together. So any color scheme, like here I was doing pink, like I said, or the browns or the reds. So they can just really make anything pop. Um, and it's an easy way to brighten up your feed. So I know there's actual apps for this, but when it comes to planning my feed, I like Visco Cam the best um, because it just is easiest for me to do. And I like the fact that you can edit kind of in the app. So I will just import the photo um, that I'm about to import next. So you can see these are all my pictures that I already have. And the next photo that I want to import, I will just go ahead and add that photo. So here we go. You can see there's the finished one, there's the unedited one, and there's the edited one. So I will just hit this and that will import it into the feed um, and then you can see how it's gonna look of course I already have this photo in here but you can still see all right so that looks nice and then I'll just see if I like the way that it looks um, if I decide I don't like it you can just delete it really easy Ta -da, delete and it's gone um, but you can plan out your whole feed like this like if I have like the next four pictures that I want to post um, this and this I can just put them all in there and then I can see what the whole next row of my Instagram is gonna look like this is what my Instagram already is and here is if I added those three pictures um, up so that looks nice of course they're all duplicates of photos I already have which looks a little weird but you can see the theme is still cohesive um, and that is why I use this app in the first place so um, there you go that's how I plan my feed it's nothing too crazy but that is how I do it so there you have you guys. I know it's not like the most interesting thing in the world, but um, those are my tricks and tips. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, all my socials are at Amber Scholl, though you probably knew that based on watching that whole video. But anyways, I love you guys so much. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And if you're watching this after Thanksgiving, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. But um, I have never been more thankful for anything in my life more than you guys. So just wanted to give a little sappy note. I love you, I love you so much. Every day I wake up and I just want to cry because I love you so much. Anyways, I'm rambling. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Have fun editing your Instagram pictures. I love you. There's still hair in my mouth. And kisses till next time, you guys. XO. By the way, I know you're gonna ask. I got this at Saks Fifth Avenue for like $30, so that was a major steal. And these earrings I actually got. Someone sent me one of you guys. How cute are these? Uh -huh. So um, if you wanna get these, there's a little coupon code too down in the bottom, um, so you can grab those down there. Thanks, little love bug. I love them. <laughs>